the moon the moon is exciting because we are going back to stay there this decade uh in terms of having humans constantly on the moon so the the moon is gonna have a complete commercial enterprise <gasps> and moving forward eventually right we'll have hotels we'll like have a get theme out park on sure. the moon like for hotels? sure that'll happen would you eventually. would you go oh 100 percent. okay I What's up, guys? I'm Jasmine Ballet. It's Cassandra Lee. And you are watching... Look, Look at us. us. What it do, what it do, what it do. We got a special guest in the building. I want to bam, 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 bam. All right, this guy's incredible. I met him with Facebook, with Meta, at Dale Tu. He is called the Space Mechanic. He was from Ecuador. He made it all the way to NASA. He's got a memoir of his book. It's called... The boy who reached for the stars. The boy who reached for the stars. El and you. Que a las and mm. that's you, man. You did that. Working on it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, he's, he, you're here. Incredible, I man. Thank I, you guys for having me. No, thank you for being here, man. Yeah. He brought us cookies. That's actually like really sweet. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. We got you wine. I don't know. Yo, I'm having a great time. Hey, let's cheers. Did you say his Salud. name, though? Yeah. Did you say Elio Mori Morillo. There you go. Yeah, it. there we go. Salud, salud, salud. salud, salud, salud. Hey. Man, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I know, I know it's quite a hike. Yo, it was mm. quite a drive, and mm. I didn't really realize what I was doing. <laughs> uh, but it, it was about You're an like hour a... and a half, you know, oh. out here. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 You know, we didn't want to get you food or yeah. nothing. I'm, yo, I'm trying intermittent fasting. So okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I mean, we intermittent fasted yeah. this morning. We, was, we didn't yeah. eat till It's kind of crazy. Three. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. But you can do it. I believe in you. It's like week two. Oh, man. Okay, wait. So how, wait, how many hours are you doing? Uh, right now, kind of keeping it between eight, nine. Mm. Uh, so I'm starting. I'm, I may swap the schedule, but I'm skipping breakfast. Okay. It's so hard. Yeah. I, no, you could do it. Because I wake up with breakfast. It's really? My typical. Oh, so, yeah. But, you yeah. know, working on it. Working oh, on it. I'm we'll proud of you. See. Make yeah. sure you drink your water. Yes. Stay hydrated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the big one. That's the big one. Dang. For sure. But... Yeah, but okay. Good. Intermittent fasting. We're look good. at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll replace it with wine instead. Right. Yeah. <laughs> grapes. That's yeah, yeah, grapes. Exactly. You know, man. So talk to me about how um, you made it to this point in your career. Is it something you always saw for yourself? Oh man, uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You I, like? Yeah. You were like growing up. Yo, I had Dexter's laboratory. Okay. You know, okay. I so to science was like your thing. Uh, I wanted to build my own little robots. Wow. I wanted to, you know, Gundam, if you guys know what that is, like these massive yeah. robots. Uh, I love them. Um, That's so yeah, cool. this is the kind of stuff that I saw through TV, not even at my house, because I didn't have cable. It's like on the weekends, I would go to a friend's house and he had all that. Yeah. Um, and then during the week, I was focused. And then on weekends, I'd go play all the games, watch all the TV. Yeah. Um, but that stimulated the imagination. We'd watch History Channel back when it wasn't just like ancient aliens, which I'm sure we'll talk about. <laughs> um, it was, you know, some, some stories about people that were building cool machines. Mm -hmm. And yes, they were mostly white men. But mm -hmm. I was just like, I could do that. These are just people. Really? Um, and then things line up in high school when Iron Man comes out when I was a freshman. It was like 2008. Yeah. I was like, dude, this guy went to a school called MIT that's down the street. Yeah. It's in Boston um, at 16 or whatever. And I'm like, that's kind of, that's pretty reasonable. And, you know, I, I start learning about all the different fields and, and the, the specifics about it all. Mm -hmm. um, but I think since very early on, I knew I wanted to be some kind of engineer. Yeah. Maybe I didn't know exactly what that even meant because truthfully, I didn't have any kind of exposure immediately. But I, but through high school is when I learned the specifics. And then yeah. Yeah. Here I am. Here you, you know, are. Like, kinda, Look at you. Yeah. 12, <laughs> Look at you 12, doing 12 years later. It's like, and this years. is what I tell kids. Like, yeah, it's it's so powerful what these kind of careers can can do for you. Yeah. Um, I now can easily afford a vacation. Things I didn't have before. Right? Like I can just provide for my family. I right. can spoil the shit out of my dog just yeah. because I can. Oh, I, yeah. You know, it's like I'm comfortable. Right. Uh, still can't afford a house in LA though. But <laughs> um, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not, not yet. yet. You're, you're um, on your way. But you know, it's life changing. Yeah. And so. and at the same time, oh by the way, I have my footprint on Mars. Right? Like Hold on. Wait, speaking. wait, you Oh, figure you, out, because I was like, hold speaking. on, hold on, I didn't know this. Uh, I have, oh. I have, uh... I got excited. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, maybe one day, though. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I have technology that I've developed on another planet. That's um, incredible. And, so and, and it's real. Like, it, it's something that I get to now be 
there's literally now documentaries on like PBS that I used to watch growing up that I'm I'm in, right? Because it's yeah. the stuff that they go and record and it's kind of cool full circle moments that I've had and I'm only 30, right? Like, yeah. wow. Because there's so many crazy. things I still have uh, left to do. And, and, and So yeah. what has been, thus far, yeah. you're 30 now, in your career, what's been your biggest challenge getting to where you are now uh, in your career? The biggest challenge, I think, was learning when to stop. Because you can grind mm. hard. Mm. And I learned the hard way. I, I, these, you know, the nature of these projects, first of all, like space is hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's oftentimes these are jobs that are, uh, you know, pe people aren't really thankful for. You hear about the glorious moments. Like today, we had a lunar landing. Yes, I big saw you deal. post about it and I can't wait to um, go into it. Big deal. Mm -hmm. And like, you, you know, we, we launched to Mars, we traveled through space, we arrived there, we did operations, but you don't really hear what it takes to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a grind. It's, it's such a chaotic grind, especially because uh, a lot of these missions are at the end of the day underfunded mm -hmm. and understaffed. Mm. So you really have a group of incredibly intelligent people that are just so passionate and you know at some point i woke up but we're getting taken you know people take advantage of it yeah because it's you know we're getting underpaid mm. uh we're working a shitload to make these things happen which yes they are really good for the country really good for the economy but at a personal level it burns you out it takes so much um and i think the challenging aspect about the career has been learning when to slow down mm. Um, and I'm so much better at it now Good. than I ever was. Uh, so when it comes to this uh, lane that you're in, what's your what's your favorite part about what you do? Favorite part, I think, is uh, let's see, me being able to collect stories that then I can go take and inspire other people yeah. to go pursue their dreams in whichever way it, it, it is. Yeah. Because these things, you know, these projects that I've worked on seem so far off what's the biggest project you worked on the mars mission the mars mission right the mars 2020 mission yeah. um and particularly the helicopter yeah um so unique and it's the first time we flew a vehicle outside of earth on another planet That's and, and i was the person who literally coded up the day it woke up like i wrote that sequence um <laughs> and, and and like it's it's kind of stuff that you don't hear from yeah. other people like this isn't normal so I'm, i i don't take that for granted well, like I you easily... flew a helicopter it's a drone. Technically, it's called a helicopter, but it's basically a drone. Yeah. And we, f we flew it on Mars literally up until like a month ago. It died after 72 flights. It's oh my God. Yeah. Oh. difficult, difficult oh. moment for many of us, but, but it worked way more than expected. Mm -hmm. and, and the data yeah. it collected, what have we oh, learned from that? Have so we... essentially, we know how to fly on Mars now, okay. which is big for eventual humans getting there and bringing drones. Um, it's a, it was a scout to the rover, so it helped us see further out from where the rover could drive. Mm -hmm. um, it helped us take specific images that we wouldn't take with the rover. Uh, having an aerial view, right, is just, right. it gives yeah. you just a different perspective mm -hmm. and different mm -hmm. ability. So it, it, it was significant. Um, and also the way it was built and the kind of technology in it, um, it's just it was super cheap, relatively speaking. So mm -hmm. the missions that are gonna be able to be built with that kind of tech is probably gonna be uh, you know, very complex, but also it's going to be way cheaper and we're going to be able to do it more often. So we're really excited for what that mission did. Yeah. Um, if, yeah. So, so the helicopter was super special. If, you know. if you could live, if, if we could be able to exist on another planet, what would you want to, would you take no. that? No, you want to stay on earth? Yes. Really? hundred percent. Um, I thought you weren't going to say that to be honest. I know <laughs> I throw people off pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the beauty about working in these kinds of industries where I am constantly looking outward, it makes you realize how special the planet is. Really? Mm -hmm. Um, it's so unique. No other place in the universe is meant for humans. Yeah. Period. And, and do you feel like people are, are trying to create other planets, not create other planets, but allow us to be able to exist there. That's what's happening right now. Right? It's gonna be really hard, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. But, but I think at the end of the day, humans are meant to be on Earth. Yeah. But there's water on Mars. There is, which is why the universe 
I believe the universe did us a really solid favor in putting such a planet so close to us. Yeah. So we can use it as a testing ground mm. to be able to fly through the solar system and eventually beyond. Yeah. Um, it's like a goal that we can actually reach. It's right there. It's, yeah. It's difficult. Don't get me wrong. Right. right. Like we can only fly to Mars every 24 months, every 24, 26 months. Uh, because of the way the planets align mm -hmm. you can't just launch a rocket whenever you want right mm -hmm. uh, you can only launch a rocket to mars every 26 months or so wow so um rockets are simply so if you think about it this way you guys know that sport where uh those disc throwers where yeah. the person spins really fast uh-huh like the in in and track and field yeah yes. yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. spin really fast and then they disc launch jockey. that ball or, disc, or they, they push the ball some you know, there's that ball yeah, version, yeah, yeah, and then there's yeah. also the disc version. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. Anyways, you have to spin really, really fast and let go at the right time. Mm -hmm. So think of that. That's what Earth is doing for us. And at the same time, you have a planet that you're trying to pass the ball to. Mm. So you can only do that at a particular distance. Gotcha. Because essentially, you know, like playing any sport, think football. You kind of, you know, one of the players starts next to the other, you're going to have the quarterback who's going to try and throw the ball. The other player is going to run and Towards eventually catch up to, to the point. target. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar story, but instead it's like you have a quarterback all the way in LA mm -hmm. who is throwing it to a truck that is going from Miami to New York and you have to get it in a tiny little target through the window right. as the truck is moving. Right. That's the level of complexity. Yes. You need good timing for that. I know. I know. Work with. So uh, it's really hard. And, yeah. and uh, eventually it's going to become more common to do Mars. Right now I'm really excited because of the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I want to, I really want to get into. Yeah, what you guys find on the moon? You found life on the moon? Was, was, <laughs> are, there, are there aliens there? Where are they at? Where are they at? Not on the moon. <laughs> oh, uh, so do you, moon. but you believe in aliens? I, I do. That's a, that's a conversation. Okay, we can okay, okay, get in there. I can't uh, wait to I open do. that. I want to I wanna uh, open that. Up. The moon The moon is exciting because we are going back to stay there this decade uh, in terms of having humans constantly on the moon. So the, the moon is going to have a complete commercial enterprise <gasps> and moving forward. Eventually, right? We'll have hotels. We'll like have a get theme park out, on the sure. moon? Like hotels? For sure, that'll happen would you, would you go? Oh, 100%. Okay. I think the, the moon is the furthest I personally would go. Uh. Uh, but yeah, I would. Yeah. How if safe chance, is that? Actually. How safe is it for people to like, just travel to the moon for fun? So uh, a trip to the moon is a few days. Just to the get trip. there, just, just to get the, there. The trip will be a few days to so do it safely, and, and, and the ways that's being planned. The idea is to have a space station that's actually going around the moon constantly. So from Earth, you're going to go to the space station called the Gateway. This is, this is real. This is being planned. This will happen soon. Um, where you'll dock into the space station, and then there's going to be a shuttle that basically takes you from the surface of the moon back up, and you can go up, up and down. Uh, but that's going to happen within the decade, right? Like within that's the next real. decade. Yeah, this is very real. Okay, but how much um, money do you need to do that? Because, uh, come on. So that's the thing, right? So for now, it's yeah. very expensive. <laughs> the average person <laughs> yeah, do it now. It's only for, the 1%. Now, yeah. That, but really it's going to be government type of work. So it's the, the NASA astronauts that are probably going to drive most of that. Mm -hmm. um, sure, there's going to be a few private flights. I think it's going to happen. There's a few companies that are aiming for that. Um, but the the... The big player for now is NASA. Like, truth, truly, that is the big player to get mm. astronauts to the moon. Um, eventually, yeah, you're going to have people go in there, maybe even retire, even die there if they want. Like, I'm sure whatever commercial thing you can come up with, it'll eventually be done. So, like, some Black sure. Mirror shit. <laughs> wait, wait, Black Mirror. Is, no. there, is there is there a good one? No, no, it's just moon? like like you know they have like the 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 different shows where it's like if you don't want to die here, you know, you can. You know, like stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, like, or die in space or something. Maybe. Yeah, True. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like sure. I'm planning out. The there was actually a big controversial mission recently because they took ashes from I don't remember what, but it was ashes. It was the spaceship was carrying ashes of people and it kind of failed, um, and and it was a whole thing. But but this is real. People want their ashes to go to space. There's right? they want to be stardust. They want yeah. be. We we are stardust. stardust. Right. Yeah, exactly. Stardust, yeah. So there's this ep there's this Black Mirror episode where you know the, they're in space on a mission. Did I, 
I may have missed this Did one. Did you miss this I one? I think so. I don't remember And this. And basically, they have an, a bot version of themselves on planet Earth. And so they're able to take their consciousness when they're going to sleep in their space shuttle or ship. Um, they lay down, go to sleep, and they plug in. Their consciousness enters the bot version of themselves. But they look cute. They look like it's like a twin Weird. version of themselves, it's like a clone. That's crazy. And then they're able to still be with their family, still do things, but they can't eat. Obviously, they're a bot. They're robots. They're robots, yeah. And then they go back to work. And they wake up and they're in space and they. Mm. What's the catch? This is a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the catch. <laughs> I mean, what's the, oh, no, 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 okay, I can't say the catch, but the catch is not necessarily the um, the idea of that. It's more so the storyline yeah. okay. of like you know, there's a wife. There's it's just a, there's a storyline uh, sure. that happens. So sure. definitely watch that episode. Watch it, but like, I'm like, is that even possible? Could you transfer know. your consciousness uh, yet? I mean, I feel like it could potentially happen, but maybe, maybe you know, I maybe don't know. Maybe in the future. I don't know if that tech is, you know, even Elon is building Neuralink. Uh, exactly. Zuckerberg just announced that they're doing this thing with bracelets. Yeah. So like maybe one day, maybe who knows? Yeah, we'll yeah. transfer the consciousness. I don't know. That's wild to me. It's crazy. It was a good episode. It it's was crazy. A good episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this moon stuff is exciting. It's real. it's real. And there's a lot of missions. Like today there was the first, landing uh, on the moon by the United States in 52 years. Wow. Um, and it was done by a commercial company. Wow. So the fact that a commercial company did that on a commercial rocket, it's it's big news because ultimately it just means that it's just going to become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Mm. Wow. So going to the moon, it won't just be for rich people. Right. It'll eventually okay, be just like, let's go spend a weekend on the moon and wow. fly me to the moon you know? fly me to, to the, the moon, moon. Yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and that'll be real <laughs> wow um, and i think we'll see that within our lifetime yeah yeah yeah, 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 like yeah. For sure. and then by then we'll be rich so it'll be fine exactly. yeah we meet us, right? exactly like, sure. yeah oh, we're gonna have fun it's gonna be forget great. colombia yeah we're going to the moon exactly <laughs> we're gonna like getaway trip to the moon bitch <laughs> girls trip to the moon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get married on the moon <laughs> yeah real, real that's insane yeah, real. so it, it's gonna happen i'm excited because i'm working on a project right now we're building a lunar lander um and, and that is a who no, are you I'm, working with because are you are you still with nasa or no no i left nasa jpl uh in 2022 okay uh now i'm working it's fine i'm working at blue origin uh okay. i'm i'm a, a systems engineer for one of the lunar landers that we're building insane um, you're working on some cool shit man you got, yeah, you yeah, got like the inside scoop and yeah. like yeah so tell us what do you need to know did you guys find life on other planets i'm glad you asked um i love the answer to this come on good so the mars mission that i worked on quite literally so a little bit of story time because i just gave this presentation yesterday to middle school students um, okay, look. With the different missions that we've had since the 70s, we got to Mars uh, in the 70s. Like, we had a lander, then we had a few other missions. We had orbiters, so these satellites that are just there. Landers, eventually we got rovers. Every mission basically helped us build the story. We looked at what's on Mars, what's on the surface, what kind of minerals are there. Uh, eventually you start concluding, like, wait a second, for these minerals to exist because of the knowledge we have from Earth, that means that there should have been water here. These mm -hmm. minerals can only be formed if there's water. So with the knowledge we have from Earth of like, okay, on Earth, where there's water, there's life. Okay, mm. so we know there's water. Cool, there was water at some point. Now, okay, we've found organic molecules. Organic molecules at the end of the day are just ingredients to eventually have life. Right. However, organic molecules can happen because of geological processes. So two rocks are grinding for thousands of years, you can have an organic molecule pop up. Wow. Right? Or an organic molecule could be the product of a little bacteria that was once eating and pooped. Uh -huh. But you can't conclusively tell just by what finding in a molecule. Yeah. Right. Um, one of the missions concluded at some point in time, Mars had a habitable environment. So you had a warm enough environment, you had water, you had humidity, maybe life could have formed here. But by the way, don't get too excited. If life ever formed on Mars, it was probably bacterial, it was tiny. Mm -hmm. it, it, you're not 
you don't, don't think, think it was little like, green people no because i mean I'm not on mars yeah definitely not on mars there was just never the right conditions for complex life Beans. like ours to exist on mars mm. mm-hmm. not even uh, if it was like a billion years ago nah and I, I and there's we have a decent understanding of the history of mars mm-hmm. uh there's always a possibility right who knows right right but scientifically the answer right now is like life could have existed and if it did or if it exists there today it's tiny. It's bacteria. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Does it? Does that mean that it's projecting to be? Maybe they'll evolve and it'll become. Well, we don't know if, if it ex- We we don't. Uh, well, that's, if it's you know what I'm saying like if so, it's, if it's this right now. So hold on, right? So r- the mission that's currently there, the Mars 2020 rover, the one I worked on, it's collecting samples, so that we can bring them back to Earth and conclusively like run experiments, have multiple science centers different universities look at the samples to say hey by the way bacteria existed here or it's existing it's here right now um so that's kind of the next step and this is where i'm going to get a little political okay um a few weeks ago jpl nasa jpl here in pasadena california the jet propulsion laboratory underwent layoffs for that mission that was going to that is going to bring samples to earth And it all has to do with the fact that Congress can't do their job and they haven't approved the budget for the next fiscal year. So they are choking out NASA. And this isn't really talked about, but quite literally because of Congress's incompetence, because that's all it is. They're not doing their job. The Mars program had to get cut to some degree. And what's ultimately going to happen is like, hey, it maybe these samples that we've been working on are just going to be abandoned and we're not going to have a path forward to bring them uh. back. And by the way, the Chinese are going to get there in the next Mars window. Before so us. maybe the Chinese are going to bring back samples and they're not going to let the United States touch them. Yeah. So then we won't be able to conclude whatever news they then they push find. out to the public and could create hysteria. Yeah. So like there's a whole bunch of implications in yeah. these politics that are happening today. Um, but also, isn't hasn't the government been hiding a lot of documentation on like aliens coming like different alien findings and like a bunch of stuff was released like recently. So what I'll say this, right? The Pentagon is its own beast. The Department of Defense is its own beast. Everything NASA does is public. So everything we've been doing is out in the open. You can go find it. You can go get the pictures that the rover took today on yeah. Mars, like live, basically. Yeah. So if there is some kind of conspiracy, it's not NASA. I'll tell you that. Like, mm. No, it's the government. Well, Because they don't want us to know. <laughs> well, I will say this. What we learned recently in those hearings is that there was a guy that knew a guy that knew a guy mm. that apparently saw some stuff yeah it wasn't first person source by but any there means there were many no different. it was one no no it was, it was really one it was really one guy it was really yeah. this one guy who is now going on every podcast and getting a ton of money yeah uh, i feel like uh, there was an announcement that they found um life no they found no. A, they found a spaceship and there was life found on that space or like uh, i'd be interested to, to see that but but no hmm. there hasn't been anything official okay Right, like then they had the, these guys showed up in Mexico and showed this mummy thing, that eventually was just another hoax. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a whole thing. Like there hasn't been any conclusive evidence from the scientific community that mm-hmm. says, "Hey, yeah, there's life on other planets." But that's why, if we do discover that something existed or exists today on Mars, that's even this you know tiny and we can't see it, then the imagination is the limit. Right, like at that point, if something happened right. on Mars on its own. You're this like, universe is enormous. Right. Right. What else Which is, is what I believe. Like, right. it's impossible, mathematically speaking, that we're the only planet in the entire universe that has life. So you feel like there is life. Oh, for Complex sure. Complex beings. Yeah, for sure. That are existing. For sure. Somewhere. Yeah, for sure. In this universe. Absolutely, 100%. Mm-hmm. I, I can't tell, like, I, I don't see why not. Neither can right. I. Yeah, I don't I'm, see why not. But are there the aliens, aliens among us? Eh, no. Pff, and no. even then, I like, know. I don't I mean, because, like, when you think about life existing... I, we say aliens because we don't know what to call them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like... We don't know what they look we like. We don't know what, they what look, they're made out what of. They're made out yeah. of. You know, whatever it is. It's like they're just they alien can... because we don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like, I can't wait to know. And so going back to the whole China thing and... So that's the thing, right? If, if we 
NASA, I'm, I no longer work there, but yeah. I still identify. Yeah. Uh, if we can confirm that something existed on Mars, then we'll know that, yeah. man, anything can happen. Yeah. But then you start thinking, all right, is what are what are all the ulterior motives now for the government to not fund its own projects? Well, you have Republicans in Congress who, if we find life, are is going to have people potentially question their Christianity. But, mm. oh, wait, these people want to use Christianity to enforce their beliefs on everyone. Yeah. So you start kind of questioning what the heck is actually happening right. and we're sabotaging ourselves mm. at the end of the day. It could be because of your religious beliefs or whatever it is. Mm. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's a huge, like, it, it, it's an embarrassment to the it, country. There's going to be a shock. Um, and there's going to be a shock because yeah. then eventually if the Chinese discover it before us, then we can't even prove their results because they won't give us their samples. Here's the thing, though. I know, I know, I know. I mean, like, that's the, the political part, right? Yeah, you I, know, but yeah. like in my head, it's like I just want anyone in this world to just find it. Like, you know what I mean, whether it be I don't really care if it comes from us. I think the only reason why I would care is because then we can actually see the step by step process of we can how we get it, yeah. how, how we figured it out. And if they, you know, hold that information from us, we can't, you know, replicate it or understand it as well as they do. Yep. But I, the discovery of it, I don't really care who discovers it. You know what I mean? Sure. I just want the discovery to happen. And I want it, I want it to happen so for it to happen by scientists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I want people to be able to prove and tell me scientifically this is foreign to Earth. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because um, even the stuff we see in the sky, yeah, I'll tell you guys. Like I worked in defense programs before. Humans are smart. Yeah, like anything that you see in the skies that looks weird. If it looks weird, it it could be human. Like there's no reason why it can't be. Right. Um, human. Yeah, we have we have crazy technology out there, and then there's the stuff we don't know about that corporations just have. Right. Mm -hmm. Plus, up from other countries, even. and even other countries. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So there, there's crazy tech out there, and physicists and engineers are incredibly intelligent people. Yeah. And they invent crazy stuff. Yeah. And like we truly don't know what is under wraps because it's corporations holding information for the competitiveness. So. Right. I would love to say it's alien tech. Yeah, me, I, I me too. I would love to say, yo, I saw an alien yeah, today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but you know, realistically, we don't know. It's like, just, it can't be factual. We found but. signs in the fields and stuff. It, a lot of it was a hoax. The signs in the fields were a bunch of artists that were literally going out with wine and doing it. Like, it, it, really? I wish, I really wish that I signs know. like the movie was a thing. Like, I know what you're Not talking about. Not just the movie, but like, the there signs. was people. Yeah, no, well, were, I mean, did you hear about the the, the uh, project that they were doing here, Catalina Island and uh, to me, no, LA? No, so they they were doing a project, and I, I I may be completely not saying this properly. And when I find the right information, maybe this will be something we can do a part two to. Send it. Send um, it right. I'll send it over a to mini you. episode. Because my it. my brother, my older brother, he's like so into this so he always feeds me information about it and we go on you know i, I almost wish he was here because i know he would ask such interesting questions yeah, yeah, yeah. um but no they did a project they had a, a project here from catalina island i think it was for a week straight if i'm correct i'm not sure and there's like this uh, portal from catalina island to la <coughs> and then there's another spot it's almost like a triangle and and they've been just watching the sky waiting for a wormhole you know waiting for signs sure. of, of you know alienistic uh you know encounters and they they found some stuff you mm -hmm. know they act, I, he showed me the video but again like you're saying could that be that or could it be you know technology from tech. yeah but we don't know but there but but from what this uh uh mission i would call it i guess has stated is like there's there's alien encounters right here there's some in joshua tree there's like groups that go and and i'll say this like the human mind like we tend to be very biased about things we believe like we want to see the things we believe in mm -hmm. so a lot of these accounts that you hear about it's just like something that was quite normal but someone just perceived that it that way they, they, they perceived it as something completely extraterrestrial when mm -hmm. likely it was just like something atmospheric something I mean, weather like mm. or some tech there like, was seriously. there was this one encounter that i think it was a trip i, I want to say it was in joshua tree but i'm not i'm not quite sure but they yeah, had yeah. where they he, he had i forget the guy's name man it's, it just sucks i'm not able to really like talk about it so it's okay specific yeah but um the way that they encounter aliens or, or call on them is like they would meet they would gather in like a circle they would sit and they would just think on gratitude peace joy all these things yeah. and just say i am in, in on planet earth 
in the United States, in California, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and just like bring it down and then just believe on that like for a while. And this guy, you know, he was there with all these people and, you know, maybe some people saw things. They have images of certain things sure. um, that I saw, but he, he got exhausted. He's like, I'm going to go to bed. He had a hearing issue um, his whole life. And he's going back to his cabin and he hears someone calling his name. So he's, he knew it was a being and he goes out and meets this being and he says, where are you from? The being says where they're from. And it was not planet Earth. It was somewhere else. And then he says, you know, what, what can I do for you? And he says, well, I can't hear. And he says, go to sleep tomorrow, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And then the next morning was in, in fact, hearing completely normal. And he really believes that was an alien encounter, um, for lack of better words of what the being is. And uh, he had an encounter that changed and transformed his entire life. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm like, what was that? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's like, it, it's hard to, even these people really believed what they saw. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there's places where I don't want to discredit this person because I don't right, know. Right, I, right, I, right, I don't right. know. Right? I want to like send you this stuff and just see what you, what you, you know, but what if in Joshua tree, there's just constant gas leaks <laughs> that people are just seriously, this no, is a yeah, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. that people are not aware of. And you're just sniffing stuff that is, making you have hallucinations in the middle of the night. It's possible this this exists. But then he wakes it's up just like with a natural the hearing? Again, uh, the brain can do some powerful shit. <laughs> like, I mean when you're when you really believe like is the crazy. Faith, faith faith and then yeah, I, I I understand what you're saying, right? But like I don't know. At the same time, I, I can't say that he oh, it's impossible that this happened. Right. I'm not going to close off the possibility yeah, that yeah, this person Yeah, cuz it could something. be. It could it be cuz you also agree I don't know. there could be existence that can encounter us in yeah. some way, shape, or form, but we just don't have don't proof on it. It's more so like right. an idea and like, it could be possible. It what could it, be possible. You know what I mean? Do we have proof that the earth is round? What would you say to a flat earther? Oh my God. All right. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These, these people, they're fun. Um, with a thousand dollars. Okay. I did this in college. All right. I did this in college. Uh, you can build your own little weather balloon and just strap on a GoPro. And it'll go to the edge of space. I have a video I can show you. That like, you did. That I recorded through my GoPro that I know I set up and like put my own card and you launch it up. And I Wait, did this. Wait, balloons go all the way up to space? Uh, you can, yeah. You'll go 100,000 feet and then eventually it bursts because there's not the enough pressure. atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. It'll just explode eventually and then it falls. But a balloon, if you inflate it basically hard enough, it will go to the edge of space and you can record that with the GoPro. And you'll see it. What and you, see you can see the clear curvature of the earth before it bursts. No way. Uh, and then all these people are like, well, the GoPro has uh, a fish eye lens. Yeah, fish eye lens. <laughs> and it's like, all right, if you really want to do it, backtrack the calculations with the fish eye lens and you'll see that that is a flat image. Like, mm -hmm. and, and you'll see that there's clearly a curve. That's mm -hmm. got to be a huge um, balloon. Uh, it's, it's no, no, not yeah. actually. And, and again, with a thousand dollars, you can do this at home. You can just, just like, like make sure you submit the permissions to the FCC and. Uh, you need all that. Oh yeah, because I was about to do radio. it tonight. Yeah, yeah, like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need I was to tell. To be like, we're launching the balloons FAA. tonight. I don't care. Yeah, I, you need to tell the FAA you're going to launch. You need to tell FCC that you're going to use some radio communication because otherwise, like what happened, like two years ago. Uh, there's a Chinese balloon flying over space. They'll fly out F-22s to <gasps> like blow this thing up. Um, I'm dead. And, and that whole thing, people were like, oh, these are UFOs, oh, blah, blah. I was like, yo, listen, this could have easily been some high school students that didn't know any better, yeah. and they just launched a balloon that caused the government to freak out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you, you can and do it's this. it's just like a helium balloon. It's a helium balloon? Yeah. A thousand bucks, I promise you. You don't need, you don't need more than that. Oh, you, my goodness. Launch up and you see it for yourself. I have this beautiful like image. I, I went to school at University of Michigan, and like, we went far up, and you can see all the farms. You can see Detroit. You can see the Great Lakes. And it's uh, like this. This is real. Like yeah, I don't know what to, yeah, <laughs> what yeah, to yeah. tell people. Right? I hear you. I hear you. Um, and then there's all kinds of experiments that you could do just physically, and but these people just don't want to do it. That's so, insane, yeah, man. Know. I love it, man. This has been so much fun. I Yo, can't wait real. to like 
uh, you know, touch back on this. I'm oh, going to do real. a little bit more of my research, send it to you, and then maybe we can pick up again on another por par portion of this conversation. Yeah. But it's been incredible. Follow Elio. He is on Instagram as The Space Mechanic. Follow him. Get his book. You're also just a huge inspiration. So just thank you for sharing right, your story. You. you know, thank to you. really fight for your dream like this is incredible. You're doing yeah. big things. Thank, thank you. For like being changing here. the world. Thank you so. guys for, for bringing me on board. This is fun. Yeah. I, I don't know if like the rest of the content if this lines up with it. No, uh, no but we're we're talking about anything <laughs> and everything. About anything. Like, we, we have we fun. Look at us. Look at the world. Look, look at, at us. You, is, look is, at everything that's happening. It's like, just like how far you've come. Yeah. That's what it's about. That's thank what look you, at us is about. When people say that, it's how far I've come. You know what I mean? Look at us. Look at how far we've come. And what we still have left to go. Exactly. Amen. So, sure. love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to join our squad. Visit lookatuspod.com.